Hello there fellow changelings of the changing army I'm the gaming changeling Ola Storm And welcome back to God of War Last episode we finally managed to make it out of Pandora's temple with Pandora's box Unfortunately Ares knew that we pretty well found the box Threw a stake pretty much at our heart And cast us down into the pretty much Hades Now as you can possibly tell we have to since we get out of Hades I have a feeling that Hades isn't gonna just let us go without a fight. Of course it's always and what well, time to put those swords to use? Now I'm gonna go go ahead and actually do the uh since I'm pretty well right near the end of the game, I'm gonna do pretty much uh as this pretty well as these course and you have a double jump pretty much sees its entire section oh got a hold you ain't keeping me from opening my chest oh yeah the camera will um do that on you Going go this way. And we go up this. And it's doing that thing again where well, I actually <sighs> crap. You know what? Screw it. Nope, it's uh, not gonna let me progress. But I really hate that. Okay, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna quick game and then, uh... Gonna load game. And I'm gonna do it legitimately. I really hate that when it does that because I have to pretty much go through the entire section all over again with I really as I I really hate because obvious. It takes a good long time for me to do. Not time for the anchor crag. I pretty well know which one to go on. Here's the new jumping technique to uh Ow, 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 no! Fuck!
There, that should make the thing spawn. So well and also these inferno beats. Yeah, see, I absolutely hate that. They can just be cheese areas, and then they just say, "Nope, do it legitimately, otherwise you're not progressing." I absolutely hate that. I mean, there are things you can cheese. Anyway. But I don't know why it calls you out on it. Anyway, uh, you will see me when, like I did in, I guess, say the first uh, recording of this, that I'm gonna be using uh, safe states quite a bit from the final fight again. Ew. Now there is a platinum trophy in a remaster of this, but as you probably already can tell, I'm not playing the remaster. The remaster is basically the entire yeah, they see they are, that's the ego crag. Very uh, carefully here. I know I'm not saying anything, and that's for obvious reasons because I'm trying. Ah, fuck. Fuck! I'm basically teasing it. And by the looks of it, I almost have a uh, max. Da 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 with what I've done with the infinite jump code. And there was actually a platinum trophy with the remaster if you managed to uh, climb the Echo Crag without ever getting hit. You'll probably save scum your way through it because, well, let's face it, you're probably not going to be getting it on your first attempt. And the rope didn't drop. What? Ah, uh, where's my rope? Where the fuck is my rope? Dang it. Alright, alright, alright. Fine, I'll do the thing that didn't leave. I hate when that happens because there we go. Now it's just a matter of pretty well whacking these enemies. Okay, now let's climb up these steps.
That looks uh, wide away. who uh, gave me a rope I definitely can't climb well up we go look plateau hmm wonder what's in here Wait, what? Ah, Kratos. And not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. But how did you know I was- Athena isn't the only god keeping watch on you, Spartan. Complete your task, Kratos, and the gods will forgive your sins. Thank you, Zeus. Thanks for enough, this isn't one of those games where it wanks you. Do I? Wow, I have quite a bit, bit of souls now. Which pretty well don't mean mean much. For well, obvious reasons. Because well, let's face it, I'm pretty well. Uh, pretty well buffed out. Buffed to the nines here. That's a familiar uh, music track. And by the looks of it, I say we're pretty well near the end of the game. Oh, this thing took roughly almost five hours to complete. Kratos, you turn, but too late. Ares has taken Athens. There is no more hope. No hope. Are you ready for the final Kratos fight? Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, even Pandora's box is mine. Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos, returned even from the underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war?
After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods. Insert Super Mario Mutt from sound here. You are still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you created has returned to kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Matos. Very well, you want me to get something even stronger? Very well. Oh, that was a circle button. Ow. Master took a button! Master took a button! Oh, that was a square! Now this is a can be tedious. Many ways to kill a mortal Kratos. Flesh that burns, bones that break. But to break a man's spirit is to truly destroy him. Do you recognize this place, Spartan? The location of your greatest failure? Perhaps there is a chance you can undo the deeds of the past. The nightmares that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. Very simply put, uh, I believe the souls of Hades... Kratos! What's happening? Where are we? By the gods, can this be real? I don't think they can take a uh, hurt. Daddy! There is nothing you can put in my way to stop me. I will save my family. Yeah, they don't take any... This is basically power defense. If you have any AOE attacks, use them. Uh, keep in mind of one other thing as well, is that uh, your health bar will diminish if you give him a hug. Oh, 800, can I break, can I break a thousand? I have broken a thousand! And this is the last uh, time we're going to be using our magic. I hope you uh, didn't get too attached to it. Kratos 
almost had done the impossible. He had saved his family. Now I'm gonna save this quite a bit. Kratos, please take us home. Do you see, God of War? You took them once, but you'll never have them again. You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered. And you rejected me. A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! Oh, not... not again. You should have joined me, Kratos! You should have been stronger! By the gods. And now we get ourselves pretty much a power the struggle. The was not over. The gods, it seemed, Remember had that, final uh, gift for Kratos. Thing? I still have allies in Olympus Ares. Now... You will see how strong I am. Now it's a power struggle! And my thing doesn't seem to work. A minute. There we go. One, one. Ow. Darn it! It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night, I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are, but we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. 
and Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. Here we are, Mount Olympus. And there they are. Now, I do know about one thing with this. If you manage to destroy both of them, there will be a secret code. The secret code is nothing much other than just uh, pretty much a phone recording of Kratos pretty much congratulating you for finding the code. That's roughly about it. Also, you apparently got a scene of the blades. Uh, keep in mind, however, this is only just an endgame reward. It doesn't even do much of anything. So, time to, um, phone the God of War. Take your rightful place upon it. And from that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven photos. The mortal who had become the new god of war. Yeah, no. You have been completed God of War. Treasures of Olympus have been unlocked. God mode have been unlocked. Would you like to see the progress? And that's God of War! Oh, and look at that! It looks like they're actually sewing off some, uh... Beta stuff here, which... I gotta say, was actually pretty interesting. I mean... Like, they even, like, beta stuff for the, uh, Hydra fight and everything with... I gotta say, for what we did get, it was pretty good. I mean, there was some, uh, screenshots of what they, what used to be there. I mean, granted, some of the stuff you do see, like, in the beta screenshot that they're showing there, it's still around, uh, even somewhat, uh, within the main game itself. But I don't uh, press anything by accident. What did I think of the game myself? God of War, I actually thought this was actually a really good game. Uh, that quite for the most part. My first introduction of this was of course through, well, SCP, Super Gaming Brothers. And they put it up, as far as I know, played four of the games themselves. The four games, of course, being God of War 1, 2, 3 Remastered for the PS4, 
Which I am gonna play once I get my obvious thing, of course. And, of course, uh, got the God of War 2018 game, which I still have to this day. I still have it, and I've beaten it twice. Uh, once on normal game, and then, of course, again with the New Game Plus. Which, of course, did actually give me some really good stuff, and did have some references here and there to, of course, uh, some of the costumes you could get in uh, the other games. Now, one thing I will make mention of, which, um, now, granted, it was, of course, on me, which I had a couple of times happen to me, which was, of course, having to do the section so deliberately, in order for certain event flags to happen. That, of course, was just, well, on me, because I didn't know that at the time, and it's had happened to me other times before on my own playthroughs of the game myself. That's off camera, everything there. Now, one big uh, thing about it, but more on the lines of the costumes. Now, of course, it's my second playthrough of the game on my channel because first time I did play this with, of course, the obvious well, cow costume, which granted me infinite magic. And it was with the Ares armor, which is the best armor in the game, which is double uh, all your stats being health armor. Uh, melee damage as well as also getting double of the three different orbs being of course the uh, blue, red, and green orbs, each of those being for health, magic, thing and all. And look at that, a nice little colossus of Kratos himself. Now, uh, story wise, story wise was pretty good as you can, uh, yep, Kratos will return. And we're brought back to the title screen. Now, one thing is going to be very apparent about this is that uh, I said they were pretty much going to be the last episode. And by the looks of it, with uh, I do have like a stopwatch going, which does help me in terms of how long I want to make my videos. That it apparently was half hour, but I'm actually kind of surprised at that, that this was in sense the last episode. I didn't expect it to be the last episode, I thought it was, but... Anyway... Uh, Gameplay-wise, was pretty good. I mean, it just had like, it was just a standard, like, hack and slash platforming game. Got, kinda goes along the lines of Greek lessons. That I did like. Regardless though, I... Gotta say that... The link will be in the description below, both for the emulator itself... Uh, like the bios and everything and how to set it up. It was also Cold Breaker and the Warm bio itself to this game as well. Now, it might take a little bit of time to set up, don't worry. I've had, had to do that myself because, as far as I can tell, they were probably the uh, most tricky to set up because I had to get like bio things set up, stuff like that, just so I can get this all to work. Regardless though, I did enjoy actually doing an entire playthrough of this on my own own uh, time here because, well, basically to put it plainly is I played this game quite a bit and at some point, I mean, I've, I was going to revisit this and give like my own opinion as to what I saw of the game itself. Now, the final boss fight there there, I don't know why it lagged. No, I don't know why it lagged a few times, and a couple of times you saw that it did uh, freeze on me. I don't know if that was because of the uh, warm fire itself, the emulator, or even the codes I'm using. But it was thankful enough that I did use safe states. Which, uh, thankful enough, I didn't really have to use safe states all that often, which I'm grateful for. Regardless, though, as you can possibly already can tell, Yes, I do plan on also doing the sequel to this game, not right away, probably over time, I'll do the sequel. And as always, I of course will be talking a little bit about how I'm going to be utilizing uh, codes in the game. Once those are pretty well done and the things on what I need to do. 
Anyway, with that all being said, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through God of War for the PS2. Uh, link will be in the description both for the emulator, the code breaker, breaker as well as the warm fire itself. I hope you enjoyed watching this series as much as I enjoyed watching it. Subscribe if you want to check out other videos I've done in the past. Or stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Comment down below if any tips or tricks about this game I may have missed. Or if you have a game you want me to check out on the channel, be sure to let me know. And until next time, stay 20% cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.